Hey, how's it going guys? So we're back talking about boxing and um, I wanted to discuss with you an old school secret, something that doesn't get talked about anymore and um, something that I'm trying to keep alive because it seems that as all these legends die out, so does the knowledge as well guys. So um, a lot of you asked me questions about power and how you can take your punch power to that next level. So I wanted to bring your attention to the old school greats, guys. So if you look back um, as far as Jack Dempsey, Joe Lewis, Marciano, Sonny Liston, Muhammad Ali, George Foreman, Ernie Shavers, Cleveland Williams, then you've got guys like Roberto Duran, Thomas Hearns, uh, Pepino Cuevas, Sugar Ray Robinson, Florentino Fernandez, um, the list goes on and on and on guys, but I wanted to share with you the, the one secret that they all knew that you don't, alright, and something that they all had in common with each other, and um, it's something that you don't see nowadays when you go to regular gyms, and, it, and it's a shame guys, but um, the one thing that they all did that you don't is wear thin bag gloves when they are hitting the heavy bag. That's the secret, guys. All right, that is the secret. They understood the importance of hand conditioning. They understood the importance of the correct knuckle alignment upon connecting a punch. They understood the importance of how to really dig a punch. And you cannot do that if you are wearing big, thick 14 to 16 ounce gloves every time you hit the heavy bag. You go back and look at any picture where the old school greats are posing, you'll see them wearing bag mitts, thin bag mitts, all right? All those guys could hit hard. There are crazy stories about these guys breaking bones, shattering eye sockets, jaws, ribs, arms. I mean, you get guys like Florentino Fernandez. I mean, that guy used to break people's arms. He broke Gene Fulmer's arm. Um, in a 15 round fight. You get guys like Pepino Cuevas, the Mexican monster, who had a reputation for pretty much breaking um, a facial bone of nearly every opponent that got in the ring with him. You don't hear stories like that anymore, guys. You don't hear stories about those kinds of injuries in a boxing ring. Um, and all those guys hit harder than all of the fighters of today. There's a couple of guys out there, guys, that hit hard, but still, I don't see any resemblance to the fighters of old, guys. But if you want to take your power to the next level, then you need to understand the importance of hand conditioning. If you have strong hands, you will have a better connection with your punch. You'll be able to feel your punch more when you dig it in. So get yourself a pair of thin bag mitts. Go and have a look at all the bag mitts that the old school guys used to wear when they used to hit the heavy bag and you will see what I am talking about. It is an old school secret, guys. All of the old school guys, they knew it. Okay, and that's the reason they can all punch better than you and punch a hell of a lot better than the shit that we see on TV nowadays, okay? Um, if you were to ask me, guys, okay, well, what kind of bag mitt should I be looking at? Um, my opinion, the best bag mitt on the market is going to be the Rival RB5 bag mitts, okay, the Rival Boxing Gym, as you can see there guys, it's just a thin, it's just a really thin bag mitt, and um, I absolutely love them guys, I love them so much, I had to buy two pairs of these guys, but as you can see, it's just thin, it's just a thin material on the top, you just have to remember guys, to uh, wrap your hands correctly, okay? Wrapping the hands is what protects the hands, all right? The big, thick bag gloves or sparring gloves, they're just there to protect the other guy's face, that's all. But if you wanna really develop bone crunching type power, power that's gonna leave an impression on the other guy, guys, you need to be wearing thin bag mitts when you're hitting the heavy bag. You need to be hitting all different sizes um, and weights of bag. You need to be hitting really heavy ones, light ones, medium ones, 
and um, yeah guys you will see what I mean over time you will notice that your punches will be much much more effective upon impact now um, I want to dedicate this video guys to a guy who passed away um, earlier this year he has a YouTube channel called the punch professor and um, it's, a, it's a shame guys I was speaking to him two weeks before he passed um, the guy had some awesome awesome knowledge guys and he actually speaks about this on on his YouTube channel the importance of wearing thin bag gloves for punch power I'll leave a link in the description and in the comments and they will take you to videos where he discusses this exact same old school secret guys so um, there you have it if you're new to the channel please subscribe leave a like drop me a comment below let me know what you think guys as always train hard keep safe look after yourselves and i'll see you next video guys all the best